Hi, second grade. Mrs. Lane here again with another math lesson. Today we're talking about addition and ballpark estimations. To begin with, we want to remember our close but easy numbers poem, our rounding poem. Let's say it together. Five or above, give it a shove. Four or below, keep it down low. We first need to know how to round numbers in order to make estimations. When we round numbers, we want to look at the ones place of the number. And we want to round it to the nearest 10, the nearest number ending in zero. Remember, all rounded numbers will end in zero. Let's give it a try. Let's start with the number 47. If we want to round that to the nearest 10, we want to look at the digit in the ones place. In the ones place, there's a seven. So remember our poem, five or above, give it a shove, four or below, keep it down low. Because seven is five or above, above five, we want to round it up. The next number that comes after 47 and ends in a zero is 50. So 47 rounds to 50. Another example, if we wanted to round 83 to the nearest 10. Again, we want to look at the digit in the ones place. It's a three. Remembering our poem again, Five or above, give it a shove. Four or below, keep it down low. Because three is four or below, it's less than four, we round it down. The number that comes before 83 that ends in a zero is 80. Let's think of rounding in a different way. Let's think of it as a number line. If we're rounding 47, think of a number line where one end is 40 and the other is 50. Where does 47 fall on that number line? Well, we know 45 is in the middle of that number line. 47 would fall closer to the 50. That is why we round 47 to 50. Let's look at a number line again, this time for 83. Again, if we think of 83, on a number line where one end is 80 and the other end is 90, where does 83 fall? Well, if we know that halfway in the middle of 80 and 90 is 85, then we can determine that 83 goes somewhere here, closer to 80. That is why we round 83 to 80. So now we're ready to put our rounding together to make ballpark estimates. Let's say, for example, we wanted to take the numbers 22 plus 35. For right now, we're just going to find a ballpark estimate. Sometimes we just call it an estimate. To find a ballpark estimate, we're going to round 22 and round 35 to the closest number ending in a zero. 22, remembering our poem and thinking about the ones place, five or above, give it a shove, four or below, keep it down low. Two is less than four, it will go down low. We'll round it down to 20. 35, five is in the ones place, Five or above, give it a shove. We're going to round 35 
up to 40. Remember, both numbers we round to must end in zero. Let's now add, add our two estimations. 20 plus 40, we get 60. This is your ballpark estimation with an answer of 60. Let's now combine everything together with our addition strategies and our ballpark estimates. We already know from our last slide that 22 rounds to 20, 35 rounds to 40, and 20 plus 40 equals 60. So right now, 60 is our estimate. But now let's add to find our actual answer. 22 plus 35. Use whatever strategy you like best to solve. 2 plus 5 equals 7. 2 plus 3 equals 5. What we do next is we check does our actual answer, 57, come close to our estimated answer, 60. We are checking to see if our answer is reasonable. Is 57 a reasonable answer? Yes, it is, because it is close to our estimate of 60. Let's try another problem. Let's take the addition problem 32 plus 49. If I solve using my favorite addition strategy, favorite addition strategy, 2 plus 9 is 11. Write the 1, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. My actual answer is 81. But let's use ballpark estimates, a ballpark estimate, to check my answer. 32 rounds to 30, 49 rounds to 50. I have my close and easy numbers ending in zero. Let's add 30 and 50 and I get 80. Are my numbers close together? Is my answer reasonable? Yes. So today we reviewed rounding using our poem, five or above, give it a shove, four or below, keep it down low. We made estimations and we used our estimating strategies so that we could check if our answer was reasonable. And we continue to use our addition strategies. Now it's your turn. You're going to grab your math journal and go to the next station with Mrs. Lane to practice these skills. Good luck.